This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. The area's top full-service replacement window service, Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania custom builds and installs every window they sell to the strict quality standards Anderson is known for. For more information or to schedule your free window and door diagnosis, call 717-836-1080 today. There are currently 2,000 people waiting to get into nursing homes in Pennsylvania. Meanwhile, another school, this time in Delaware County, has admitted to being worn out by student behavior. Eastern State Penitentiary employees voted to unionize. Plus, a man went into a Walmart to get milk and got something a little extra. I'm a Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in PA. A new report from the Pennsylvania Healthcare Association has revealed that 2,000 people are currently waiting to get into nursing homes in Pennsylvania, reports the Center Square via the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. And in surveying about 69 facilities throughout the state, the association found that between 21 to 40 percent say they have beds available but are just so understaffed they can't fill them. Center Square calls the nursing home staffing shortage a quote-unquote hangover from the pandemic as the industry has lost roughly 30,000 workers since 2020, and that's just in Pennsylvania. Says President and CEO of the PHCA, Zach Schamberg, quote, It is clear our access to care crisis will not go away until our workforce crisis is first addressed. According to Superintendent Daniel McGarry, staff of the Upper Darby School District are, quote, worn out, reports 6ABC. Similar to a story this podcast previously reported on concerning Northeastern Middle School, teachers and other workers in the Upper Darby School District are overwhelmed by students' unruly behavior. McGarry claims physical altercations both within the school and even on buses have seen a significant spike over the past several months, with a few incidents last year turning violent. In a message sent out last week, McGarry asked parents to, quote, please speak to your children about appropriate conduct on their way to and from school and in school. Adds he, quote, I know that we can all do better. A group of 65 employees at Eastern State Penitentiary has voted to unionize, states Philly Voice. The group, primarily made up of educators and service staff, has joined under United Steelworkers, one of the largest labor unions in the U.S. These workers were spurred into unionization as a way to improve safety on the job, as employees claim they're exposed to extreme weather conditions during open-air tours, as well as a way to protect themselves against discrimination and to get better pay. Director of Penn State's Insect Identification Lab, Michael Scarvaller, went to a Walmart in Arkansas with the intention of just getting some milk, says Penn Live. This was 2012, and Scarvaller, being in the insect field, thought nothing of picking up a purportedly huge bug he saw on the side of the building, bringing it home with him, and mounting it before he, quote, promptly forgot about it. It wasn't until he was showing it to his students at Penn State in 2020 that he realized it for what it was. A giant lacewing, a species of insect that hails from the Jurassic period and which hasn't been seen in the continent for about 50 years. Remembers one of the students, Cody Mathis, of the moment, quote, Here we were, making a true discovery in the middle of an online lab course. That wraps up today's episode. For more news, check out PennLive.com. And please remember to rate this podcast and to leave it an honest review. Thanks in advance. And as always, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll be back again tomorrow for more Today in a PA. This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. The area's top full-service replacement window service, Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania custom builds and installs every window they sell to the strict quality standards Anderson is known for. For more information or to schedule your free window and door diagnosis, call 717-836-1080 today.